my tater tots welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can probably see by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be doing another Shein haul today this video however does have a little bit of a twist to it if you guys have been keeping up with me for a while you might have seen the recent not not too recent but not too long ago i did a Shein haul and it was an all pink theme i had all pink items to show you guys and today's video is kind of like an extension of that video i'm not sure if i really want to call it like a series because i don't know how far i'm going to take this type of theme but in today's video we have a very similar video today i'm going to be showing you guys a all blue Shein haul i have about 15 items to show you guys they are all blue when i first did the pink haul you guys were saying that if i were to continue the series you guys wanted to see blue next so of course i delivered i don't want to hold you guys up too much more in this intro before we get into it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you never miss when i post a video make sure you add me on my other socials they'll be on the screen they'll be in the intro in the description and let's get right into the video okay y'all so first up i want to show y'all these two pieces together because i didn't pick them out with the intention for them to go together but as i was going through my items getting ready to record i feel like these two were basically like meant for each other i'm gonna sit that down for a hot second because i want to show y'all the dress first as you can see it's this beautiful long sleeve sweater type of dress it's very fitted it does have some type of like what would you call this print i mean in my mind i want to call it striped but i feel like there's something a little bit more to it that makes it more than striped but anyways you can kind of see it for yourselves it is like this two-tone blue color i got mine in a size medium and i love the way it fits so nice so snug but still breathable i don't feel like i have on a too little dress or anything but it still gives me a nice shape and everything i love that it also falls at a good length to where you know it's still a decent mini dress or whatever but it's not like rising too high up or anything like that and then getting back into the bag i feel like these two are so cute together comment down below and let me know what y'all think would y'all do another blue bag with this type of dress and do like i mean it doesn't have to be a full-blown monochromatic look it could be but let me know what y'all would do in the comments down below to me i feel like when i wear this dress because i am gonna wear it i would love to pair a bag like this unless i come up with something better which i don't really foresee myself doing but this is definitely an option. And then pair with some cute heels. So cute. This is the bag close up so you guys can see. It's real simple, real small type of fashion bag. More so of a statement as opposed to, you know, function. It has the two zippers on the side and it kind of has this stripe texture to it. Like I said, real simple. Really not much to it. And I just feel like it is so cute. Like, so, so cute with this bag i actually feel like i want to do something with this outfit in a future lookbook i have so stay tuned for that but yeah these are just like so cute together okay y'all so the next item i have is this dress right here i absolutely love it i did get this dress in a size medium so you can go ahead and get your regular size it's definitely true to size as y'all can see it's like this ruffle mini dress with like this tie up detailing right in the center it has the deep v-neck the first two strings you will wrap around you to kind of close this one up open it or close it as much as you like and then this one of course it just has like the bow tie type of string to it of course you can tie that differently this is how i decided to do mine i love the amount of give and stretch it has to it and the ruch detailing it has on the side to kind of give you a little bit more of a shape illusion if you will this with some cute little sandals in the summertime would be so cute and i feel like the bun is just like the cherry on top of the whole outfit to just make it so because i feel like it's already such a feminine piece and then like the bun just gives it like that extra love it this is just so cute y'all i honestly feel like i would like foresee myself wearing this to maybe like a nice little picnic or something outdoorsy of course not too outdoorsy but something where you can still be cute and outdoorsy and not look a mess by the end of the day but yeah that's just the first thing that comes to mind for me let me know what you guys think what ideas do you guys have in mind on where to wear something like this too okay y'all so this is the next set right here i absolutely love this set i cannot wait to get a little hot outside so it becomes like shorts the weather so I could wear something like this to the gym. As y'all can see, it's just this baby blue matching shorts and crop top set. It's supposed to give you like that, you know, that little space in the middle. But y'all, these shorts come up very high. 
and the bottom of the top also has a little band on it and y'all know I have a relatively short torso I am 5'1 so I don't really get that space but I'm not tripping at all I don't mind not having my stomach showing especially when I'm in the gym in the middle of a workout so that's all cool this is what the back is given I love this color too it's so it's honestly giving me a little bit more of a spring vibe than it is summer but obviously at least where I live at this will be something you can only get away with in the summertime. I got mine in a size large so that I just had a little bit more, not breathing room, but I guess you could say a little more give to it. I feel like if I would have got a medium, I feel like the top would have been cool. I feel like my shorts would have been like too tight around like the thighs. Cause you know how you have like that seam that goes around the thighs sometimes with shorts. I feel like that would have been a little too tight for my liking so I did size up to a large and I'm so glad I did and yeah I really don't have any complaints about this set I think it's so cute like I said I'm so excited to wear this but if you have like that issue with the thighs or whatever I would advise you to size up if not you'll be good okay y'all so I actually have two pieces to show y'all here first we have this solid baby blue crop top coming up so y'all can see a little bit better but it's really not much to it it's just solid as y'all can see it's mostly like a cotton material it has some give to it though however I did get this in a size medium regular size like I said it's really not much to it you could keep the outfit real simple like that if you want to just take this and leave it as is so you want some solid pants some jeans something like that some shorts whatever you want to do you can also use this as like a base piece for if you wanted to put this with something that had like a little more print or something extra going on kind of your world with something like this is real simplistic I love basic pieces like that for that reason and then next I have these ripped up jean shorts to show y'all I did get these in a size large so I could play it safe especially with it being a denim material I kind of already figured it wouldn't have much give to it just because I have tried she and jeans in the past and highly recommend you especially if you got hips a butt if you got thighs if you got anything on your lower half size up <laughs> because you're gonna be most likely a little disappointed if you don't but like I said I got these in a large and they got a pretty decent fit to them it's not nothing I would rave over but you know they fit they're on and you know they're pretty much given just distressed jean shorts they do fully cover my booty in the back so if you a little bit like me where well, you know you like to have your little ripped up distressed shorts or whatever but you don't want your whole booty hanging out and then like that these you can do that and then I like how I got like the long and short pieces at the same time it's not going all the way over neither has you know a little bit of variation to it okay and the next item I have here is this skirt it's a satin mini skirt with like this little twist detailing on the side like I said it is more of a satin material it does have some give to it and the stretch that it has in it also helps to give it a nice fit to it as you guys can see it's very form-fitting I'm not gonna lie I do feel like this is going to be a dress that kind of rises a little bit as I walk I'm trying to like walk a little bit and get a feel for it yep it's rising I ain't gonna lie to you it's rising of course I don't want to turn around but it's rising you may want to consider sizing up I'm not sure if that will affect like how it fits around your waist or anything it does have some give to it so I feel like it will still have a nice fit I just like to be honest and transparent with you guys before you go out and spend your money on things. I would definitely try to dress a skirt like this up. You can also pull it up a little bit too and give it kind of like that high-waisted type of look. Okay, so the next piece I have to show you guys is this romper right here. You guys can kind of see it a little bit. It's not really like a cotton. Um, it definitely has some give to it, some stretch or whatever. But, I mean, the links will be in the description box so you guys can look further into the materials and things like that if you are curious um, but I did get this in a size medium I like the fit of it I think it has a nice fit I feel like on the site the model was kind of given like a casual summer look and then when I put it on it's kind of given like sleep vibes I don't know about y'all but let me know in the comments below again this is just a matter of opinion but I feel like the way I envisioned it online and saw it there and how I thought it was going to be when I got it is a little bit different but again that's just a matter of opinion of course but other than that it is pretty true to size like I said I got a medium and it fits me really good the buttons are all fully functional so you can unbutton or button up as much as you like I pretty much button mine up all the way I kind of left like two I left like two open barely showing anything but you know just making it look like you're not so choked up and you can breathe but yeah everything other than that is cool let me know what y'all think okay y'all so these next two pieces i actually have three pieces to show y'all 
kind of like all in this one. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see the first top is this bodysuit right here. It's just a solid sleeveless baby blue, pale blue, more of like a pale blue type of bodysuit, real cute. I got this in a size medium and it has a pretty good fit to it. It has some gives to it. It does have the snaps at the bottom so you're not gonna have to take the whole thing off to use the bathroom or nothing like that. But yeah, I have no complaints about the bodysuit. It's pretty much a 10 out of 10. Kind of like how I was describing about that solid blue crop top I tried on earlier in the video. It's pretty much giving the same type of vibes as that to me. Now, as far as the shorts go, I had a lot of hope for these shorts and I was excited to receive these and now I'm a See bit disappointed. As you can see, that these distressed Howard's jeans. These are not as distressed as the other ones I had, but these kind of just have like the side rips, I guess you can call them, and then like along the bottoms of them. The back is like the weirdest looking thing to me. At least on my body, it is. I feel like it's. I feel like the pockets are spaced so far apart, and then it's like this line in the middle. It comes up super duper high. It's just a really weird look on me at least. Of course, it's gonna fit differently on different bodies, but I'm not really feeling them on me. I got these in a size large, so I did size up and everything, and they're still like a little tighter than I would like to, aside from how they even look. The fit is not the most comfortable. Of course, I can get like my movement in and stuff. I don't feel too restricted or anything. Let me know what y'all think about these. I definitely liked the first pair of jean shorts. I have more than these. I also had these pale blue sandals right here. Of course, I have the separate child portion and everything. I'm coming up so y'all can see a little bit better, but this is what the sandals are giving. Like I said, they're this pretty pale blue color. They have that roof strap detailing, and then these have like a skinny gold chain that goes across the bands. I showed you guys some sandals similarly to this in my all pink haul, but they were just the all one solid roof strap. They're pretty much the same exact shoe, but these just have the chain that goes across them. I don't think it's horrible, but I definitely feel like you have to play it very safe with the outfit that you wear with these so that it doesn't look cheap or give cheap. I got mine in a size seven and they fit pretty true to size. I don't have any complaints about how the shoes felt or how they fit. Okay y'all, so this piece right here is the only swim item that I have in this haul. It is blue, matching the theme as y'all can see. And it's this beautiful blue snake skin type of print. It has this tie up detailing to it. I kind of just crisscrossed mine twice and then tied it up in the back. You can tie it differently. Of course, if you like myself personally, this is the look I went for. And of course, it just has the two straps that go up and the bottom part goes around your bottom or whatever so i think it's real nice real cute and yeah let me know what y'all think i think it's real cute real nicely fitting okay y'all so the next top i have is this one right here i got this in a size medium i believe i'm gonna come up a little bit more so y'all can see it a little bit better but as y'all can see this is a little bit different from the typical items i've been showing y'all a lot of these other pieces were real casual this is definitely more on the jersey side but as y'all can see it's like this ruched long sleeve button down i like it a lot as soon as i saw it on the website i actually saw a hot pink one this same exact style, but I saw the hot pink one first, but I decided to grab it in blue because as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that would be perfect for my all blue haul. I really want the pink one if we're being honest, especially now that I see the quality and how it fits and everything, I still got the pink one on my list. As you guys can see, it's a pretty nice fit to it. I believe this is a medium, like I said. So if it is a medium, then it's pretty true to size. It has a good feel to it. The material is very soft. It does have a decent amount of lining, but not so much to the point where it's like heavy and like way too thick to pass any time other than when it's super duper cold. Like I said, it is more on the jersey size, so Myself personally, and if you're anything like me, this would be a top that you would dress up as opposed to trying to dress it down. I don't know how you would dress down a top like this, but who knows? And for the sake of the video, I just threw it on with these black pants. This is probably not how I would style it. At least, definitely not these exact ones. These are just like some ripped jeans I got from Fashion Nova or something like that. I ain't putting it together. I feel like I would want to wear a top like this with a nice fitted skirt, like a nice pencil skirt or something, and then like some cute heels. But maybe we'll have to see. And I actually feel like the bun or whatever, or like some nice type of updo hair off my face, I feel like that would be a nice little touch to the outfit. Okay, so the next piece I have to show you guys is this super duper long flannel I have here. It does have buttons on the side. They are all fully functional. So if you want to button yours, you can do that. I left mine completely open, as you can see. And I kind of just threw mine over this basic solid jumpsuit I had. But I did get this in a size large because I already knew I wanted it to have an oversized fit to it. I didn't want it to be 
tight or anything. I wanted to have breathing room. I wanted it to like fall and flow a little bit. So if you want something similar, you might want to size up. If not, I guess you can get your regular size, I guess. But as we all know with flannels and stuff like this, you can always play around with the length and stuff. Leave it as is, button it. Like I said, you can kind of like pull it up, tie it, button it, do whatever you want to do. Make it a little shorter, something like that. You have a lot of different styles and things that you can do with items like this. So that's one good thing about them. I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of like getting out of flannels. I don't know, I'm throwing a lot of personal opinions at y'all today. But let's move on. Okay, y'all, and this is the last piece right here. And my personal opinion is not given. If you like this, I mean, the link will be in the description box down below. You have that it. But this one, personally, I will leave this alone. The fit is not horrible. I mean, I feel like the top should be more fitted. I did size up and get a large, so that's probably why that is. So I won't really take off points for that. I know it says that they don't have lining because it does say without on the little uh, title or whatever. So it's not like they just messed it up or did send it or anything. But I feel like they should have some type of lining in it. I feel like that's one way to improve the set. Personally, this is just something that's not necessarily my style. I felt like it looked a little bit different online than what it did. Again, just personal opinion. Like I said, this is not really my thing, but link will be in the description if you are interested. So that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I post a video. Make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which items are your faves. If you really liked any, let me know your feedback on all of the pieces. Once again, be sure to add me on my other socials. They'll be back on the screen, the intro and the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.